What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit is back, and we're in Yuletide Effect. It's true, kids. Christmas is upon us. Snow is falling, children are caroling, parents are weeping, but I digress. I've been thinking about Christmas lately, mostly because it's Christmas time. There's no other time in any other season that's like Christmas. It was that anchoring point, the finish line of the year. When you're a kid, you just want Christmas, like, oh my God, come on Christmas. You open up those advent calendars with the chocolate, and every day is like a little tease. But don't worry, Christmas is coming. Every day you get a little present of chocolate. Meanwhile, all your presents are wrapped under that tree and you're going crazy. And there's the bad kids, the snoopers, kids who know what they're getting pre-Christmas. I was never one of those kids. My dad told me one time, he's like, all of your presents are in the closet. If you want to ruin Christmas, go check them out. The anticipation of Christmas was way cooler than knowing what I was gonna get. That two week vacation for Christmas when you're in school is just like amazing. Cause you've got that whole buildup of Christmas, that Christmas anticipation, and then you've got the post Christmas play with all the stuff you got for Christmas. And you don't gotta go to school and waste your time doing dumb stuff. All you have to do is sit around and play with your toys. It's a pretty good deal, I'd say. The weird part about Christmas now is Christmas is insanely stressful. Like I went to Moonlight Madness to do some Christmas shopping and it's just madness. I did not see the moon once, nor was my path lit by it. You go to the store and like, oh, wicked, they've got whatever this person asked for. And that thing is like never in the size you need, not the color they want, or it's just not there at all. And then you have to improvise for Christmas. You know the bad presents, you open it up, you just see the sliver of it and you know what it is instantly. And there's that thought process in your head. Okay, don't react. Just pretend it's awesome. Wicked. Good, I wanted the camouflage Snuggie. Thank you. I didn't put on my list because I didn't think anyone would actually understand it, but you knew. And this is great. I can't wait to wear this to work. But don't get me wrong. Just because it's Christmas doesn't mean you have to get stuff. A lot of people don't get stuff for Christmas and that must really suck. And so whenever anybody gets me anything, I'm just stoked they thought of me enough to get me something. It's the thought that counts. I think I just made that saying up. Trademark, the thought that counts, Corduroy Paco. PM. Wait a minute, maybe not. So carpoolers, if you get a gift you're not really down with, just think about the person who bought it for you. You were important enough to them for them to think of you at this time of the season to hit you up with a gift. And that in itself is pretty rad. I wanna wish you guys happy holidays. I wanna thank you all for sticking with me over the year and keep coming to check out Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. You know what you can do for me for Christmas? You can like this video. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to this channel. And you can tell your friends about it and tell them to check me out on Twitter. And while I'm self-plugging everything, you can check me out on Facebook. So there you go, things you can do for me for Christmas, which I guess is quite a bit when I just already said it's the thought that counts. But I was lying. It's the liking, subscribing, Twittering, Facebooking. Tis the season. Anyway, carpoolers, I hope Santa Claus is good to you. And I want you always to remember, Check your mirrors.